Good evening, everybody. This uh, is my first, well, long video on the channel. I plan on making more of these videos. I had these cars, these TRX 4M, and I want to give a review on them. Um, I've had them for about nine months, I think now, and um, I didn't see really that much long-term reviews on the cars, and I really like them. Um, I want to tell you some good points on the car, some bad points on the car, and I just want to tell you how they uh, drive and how they compare to other RC cars. So, let's start. I just bought the Defender, this one. And the Bronco, here's the body, but I changed my body for a Enjora Jeep style body, as you can see here. Modified it a little bit to make it look more cool. Well, what to say about these cars? I love these little micro crawlers. Um, I had the SCX24, used it for a bit, um, got bored of it, was too small, didn't look scale enough for me. So I decided to buy the TRX 4M when they came out. Um, it took me a while, I had to wait a little bit because I live in the Netherlands and in the Netherlands it was quite hard to get a hold of them. So when they were in stock, it was like three months, four months, five months after the release. Um, they are also a bit more expensive in the Holland or in the Netherlands. Um, I paid about 180 euros for them. I believe there are 150 in other countries. Um, okay, my first impressions on the cars. I love these cars. They're small but not too small. You can drive them indoors, you can drive them outdoors. They're fully waterproof. Um, as you can see I changed mine a lot. It has a metal bumper, some detail on it, some lights. I changed the, the wheels, the tires. Um, you can upgrade a lot on these cars and most upgrades from Traxxas are super easy to fit on. Um, the first thing I did when I bought these cars was just drive them stock. I had a lot of problems driving the Bronco stock because when you look underneath the wheels were rubbing on the knuckles here, on the steering knuckles. So I got a lot of binding issues when I drove them. When I drove them they just stopped when I, when I was fully steering um, and I was driving it, the wheels just locked up and it couldn't move. Uh, I didn't know what the problem was with it. I checked it on the internet and they said you had to widen the hexes so the wheels stand out a little bit wider and the tires are not rubbing on the knuckles. So I bought some 7mm brass hexes. I put them on, I changed the tires because the standard tire, as you can see here, the tire on the roof of my Defender is a standard tire from the Bronco. It's a BF Goodrich. It looks really scale, but the problem with this tire is that it's, it's really stiff. When you, the canyon trails that come on the Defender are a lot more subtle, so. Um, driving these will really improve your uh, crawling experience compared to the BF Goodrich. So my first thing I did was change the tires of the Bronco to the BF Goodrich's or my bad, change them to the uh, Canyon Trails from Traxxas. These tires don't have phones in them. Standardly, they don't come with phones. I don't care about that. They drive fine with me. The, another thing I changed was the wheels because when I drove them stock, the wheels, they spun in the tire. They're not glued out of the factory. So the first thing I did was change the wheels to these bead locks. I bought these Traxxas bead locks, as you can see. They're the uh, method bead locks. This one on the Defender, I uh, changed a little bit. I painted them yellow or more of a tan with a chrome bead. Um, first thing I do also love the look of them, the standard rims on the Defender. Not that great. I also had a problem with my Defender that it came with three Defender rims and one Bronco rim. So wrong out of the factory. I could have gotten to Traxxas with the warranty, but I wanted to change the rims anyway. So that's fine with me. Um, 
okay, the things about these cars, which I changed, because you need to change some things to drive them properly. The binding issue was, well, it wasn't really that big with the Defender. The Defender drives great out of the box. The Bronco was at sometimes undrivable because the binding issue was so big. When I drove it off-road, it just stopped every corner I took. I just could use half of the steering mechanism. The way to fix it was the hexes, but the slow crawl on these machines was really bad in the beginning. Um, it was really jumpy. You couldn't drive it properly on the obstacles. It wasn't really a crawler. It was more like a, a scale trail uh, ride. So what I did was change the gearbox. I changed the gearbox on both both of my cars to the TRX 4M slow trail or low range gearbox. It's a little bit hard to get off with a steel bumper. Okay. Cables. As you can see underneath, here's the motor with the gearbox. You can buy a full motor and gearbox upgrade, which is really easy to snap on, but you're wasting your money because for four or five euros, or dollars you can buy just the low range gears which you can easily fit in like 20 minutes of work and you have the low range gearbox for five euros and the, if you buy the full package it's 40 to 50 euros slash dollars and it's not worth it because it's such an easy upgrade the only problem with upgrading your Traxxas TRX4M is the hex nuts. You can see all these bolts, they're all the same in measurement. These suck. They, the fitment with your driver, just it's just the worst. I don't know what the problem is with them. I read online that everybody has this problem. They strip out, you can't use them, and you have to use tools which are not supposed to get them out to get them out because they just suck. That's the only thing I can say about that. That's just the worst thing about this car. The rest of it is really good quality. I love the iron or steel frame. Um, the shocks, they also a bit, yeah. Well, they're not the best quality. They come oil filled with oil filled shocks, but when you when you got the car and you drive it, it goes sideways. The oil is. Well, I don't know if it's leaking out. I haven't seen any oil leaking, but the shocks is an upgrade you must do. I haven't changed my shocks yet. I did change the angle on the Defender ones. I put them a little bit more up front and I've put the pre-tension clips on there. I put two on each side, on the back side, because the back sides, well, it just drops. As you can see, I'll put the body back on. I'll show you what I mean. It's just the steel Endura bumper is the worst to put back on. If I push it in, well, I have the preload, but it just stays there most of the time. I can show it on my Jeep, which was the Bronco. I push it in, it just stays like that. You have to lift it up. My car is also a little bit more heavy, but still, the shocks are pretty bad. The other thing I want to change I haven't done it yet are you can see these axles they've got the piston rings on them and the pin that's in there drops out because the rubber ring goes bad it dries out gets cracks tears off and you lose the ring as you can see here it's a little bit dry and cracked that's gonna fall out soon what I did to prevent that on the Defender, I don't know if it's, if you can see it, I put some electric tape on it, as you can see, I, I've put it around the axle and got a light to it from a, just a lighter to shrink it a little bit, just like a shrink, uh, shrinking tube and that keeps it in place. It's a really easy upgrade keeps your rig running for longer. Other upgrades I did are 
the Trixus Light Kit on the Bronco. You can see it. They don't come with. Okay, something falls off. It's a screw. They don't come with lights. Only the LED lights in the bumper, which are standard. Those are really bright. Don't look that scale. I don't love them. But you can get a light kit from Traxxas for about 30 euros or 30 dollars. As you can see, it screws right in. On the back side, you got one cable. You stick it into the ESC and you've got a really good light kit. It has hazard lights to all the lights you want. Let's see if I can put it on right now for you guys. If I have the right remote. Turn the rig on for you guys so I can show you the light kit from Traxxas. You have a button on the ESC, just plugs into the ESC. You press it, you got your low lights, your running daylights. It's got hazard lights. Oh, they turned off. It's got the hazard lights. It's got some kind of demo, just for display purposes or anything. It's got the full the high beam. In the back you can see it's got the tail lights. It's also got, got the conquer remote. As you can see it's got a brake light and a reverse light. These light kits are great. They're a really good skill upgrade for the cars. I love these light kits. Um, I want to show you while it's on the slow crawl of this vehicle with the low range gears and while I'm driving it you can hear another problem with the car which is the ESC as you can hear the ESC is really loud it makes a beeping noise just a sort of a whine and I just that sound gets really annoying especially when you're making videos with it like me the sound of the ESC is just, it's just it's getting annoying. So maybe I will change that sooner or later for a Enjora ESC because it's fully quiet. Well, as you can see, it crawls really slow with that light, with that uh, slow, uh, low gear range gearbox. Sorry for my bad language. Overall, I love these cars. They're not too expensive. You can drive them indoors, outdoors. I made a little track for them indoors. I made a little track in my yard, in my uh, garage. I take them on vacation. They're waterproof. They run for ages with that 750 milliamp hour battery. It's a 2S LiPo. They run for one and a half hours easily. You can run them through water. You can run them in the rain, you can run them in the dirt, they're easy to clean, um, they're just awesome. As you can see this one I changed for the Enjora body, I come with a ton of upgrades. I uh, modified mine with light bars, also an Enjora light kit. This one especially even has a Enjora inner fender upgrade, as you can see, it's got inner fenders. To make it look more scale, also to keep the dirt out, dirt out of the car. It's just a great little rig. I love them. I would recommend them to everybody. If you have money to spare for a micro crawler, go buy the Traxxas TRX 4M. They also have a high trail edition right now, the Ford and the Chevy Blazer. Uh, we've got this Bronco. I love the Bronco body, but I also got a big Bronco. So. I decided to change mine for a Jeep body. Lastly, you've got the trailer for it. I had it behind my Defender, but um, crawling wise, the trailer doesn't help. It looks skill if you wanna go trail riding, you can use this really skill looking trailer to uh, haul dirt, I don't know, maybe uh, motorbikes anything you want to put in the back of this trailer. It runs really smooth. It does pull the car down like this on the on the back side. Um, 
and the only problem I found with it was, was with using the tow hook on the car it got stuck on everything I crawled on so I decided to remove the tow hook to get some more crawling action maybe I'll put it on later for some videos I don't know at the moment I don't use it it's just sitting there for scale looks I did change this a bit put some stickers on it some dirt some rust just like my defender put some dirt and rust on the car I painted the roof on this car I've painted the rims I've put some uh, dirt and debris on the car I've put something on the roof rack I've put two actual spare tires on the car and I've changed the bumper to a steel bumper from Enjoro the front was a little bit too well wasn't heavy enough so it kept tipping over so I had to uh, change the bumper to a steel one to get it to crawl even better um, what more is there to say nothing more uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I will try to make more and longer videos for you guys at the moment uh, it's really bad weather outside in the Netherlands it keeps raining I don't want to drive outside when it's raining I don't like that I don't like to get wet but I love these cars and I hope to see you guys in another video Thank <laughs> you.